Hi there, it's Dr. Emmerdy, taking a look at our last project. So in this one, you're going to create classes as opposed to simply using them. Uh, and so we're building a, um, a volume class, which is keeping track of, you know, liquid volumes that will convert between them and, and that kind of thing. And so, so what are the attributes that a, uh, a volume has? And it has a, uh, it has two things. Um, it has a magnitude, right? And it has a, uh, a type, either uh, milliliters or ounces. So we can say, like in this one, oh, I'm specifying 10 milliliters or 35 milliliters or 68 and a half ounces or whatever. And then we need to be able to do some operations with those. Uh, so the kinds of things that we're going to do are uh, comparisons and then we're going to do arithmetic. And the tricky part here is that um, when I do these, um, when I do them, notice that in this case uh, I have 50 milliliters and 50 ounces and I'm going to do addition with those. Well, I'm going to have to convert them to be the, uh, uh, the same. And, and so am I going to do this in milliliters or ounces? Well, volume one is in milliliters, volume two is in ounces, and the resulting object will be the same system as left-hand object. So that is this guy. So my solution has to be in milliliters, so i got to take this guy and convert it from ounces to milliliters as part of my uh, addition uh, method, all right? And that's the double underscore add, all right? And, you know, so that's what I'm going to take a look at uh, right now. And, and the very important thing here is that when I do a return of, of addition or subtraction, always I'm creating a volume. So it will be a return volume of something. Uh, and likely two things with a comma in between specifying both of the of the two things but that's important uh, whenever we do uh, arithmetic uh, we have closure and so uh, I'm going to you know when I add two volumes I expect to get something of type volume when I'm done with it all right let's take a look at, at uh, how we might do this well I'm uh, building a class and it's called volume Okay, so um, because every, every one of these uh, volumes has both the magnitude and the units, those are my data attributes, so I'll start out with those. I'm going to have to add some defaults on there. And, I'm, and, and one of the design issues that you need to deal with is um, do you want to have an attribute with respect to validity? And, and you know you might want to have that as an attribute or you might not want to have it as an attribute it, it depends on how you uh, design it now we always right away so so we always have an init um, and we always going to you know we always want to be able to look at what I have so we'll want to have this REPR returns a string uh, such as my well my uh, notice you know, the basic idea is I'd like to add the uh, magnitude and the uh, units. Right. But um, the uh, one of the issues here is, well, self.magnitude, that's probably a number, so I better convert that to a string. And we'd expect self.units to be a string, but maybe something bogus got in there, so it doesn't do me any harm if I do that. Uh, and I probably want to put a space in between them. Now this needs to be fixed because we get, there are some specifications, but this gives me something to start with uh, initially because you always want to start with something to test stuff out. 
uh, and, and I'm going to do the, uh, the simple thing here. Let's just call the REPR. And, and, and again, got to fix this later because we have some, um, uh, you know, we, we, we have some stuff to do with that. But uh, at least now I can look at what I have. Um, at, you know, as a debugging thing, this needs to be removed in the end. But I could put a print statement in here. Um, I'm in an it. All right, now I have enough that I can actually uh, test something out. So let's let's fire this thing up, uh, and let's see if we can create a volume. A is volume uh, with uh, I don't know a ten in milliliters. All right, and can I just print A? There it is. Uh, that that's the REPR. Uh, let's call the uh, print and so now I have the basics of something um, to work with and since I have since anytime I can look at things I think I'm going to get rid of my print there right now um, <clears throat> and and this is not how the print the the, uh, the REPR and the SDR are supposed to be finally but it gives me something to start with let's take a look at addition and addition always has self and um, this the uh, second volume that we're adding. Um, I remember that uh, when I do a call, uh, such as uh, as this one here, this gets transformed into v one dot double underscore add double underscore v2 okay this one maps to self and this goes to the second one so in this case uh, this guy goes to self and this guy goes to the uh, second argument. So those are my, my two pieces that I'm building here. All right, so with that in mind, um, what do I want to do? Well, at some point, uh, I need to check if the uh, uh, my V1 is valid. That's really looking at, uh, looking at the self. Um, I'm going to leave that. I'll let you do that. Figure out, and, and of course, if it's not valid, then uh, I, I need to return something. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now check uh, is v2 um, a volume object. And if it is, okay. So that means at this point my v1 is valid because it got past the first check. And now my V2 is a volume, uh, but it may be an invalid one. All right, so I, so I have to do that check. Again, I'll leave that for you to do. I'm going to assume that uh, it's now valid. And what am I going to do? I want to add the magnitudes and, um, um, you, know, and you know, if the, if the, uh, uh, units are the same. I want, just want to add the, the magnitudes. If they aren't the same, then I have to do something else. So, uh, for example, let's go. Um, so let's check. Let's check self dot underscore units. Is that equal to v two dot double underscore units? All right. And if the units are the same, then 
all I need to do is add the magnitudes. But remember, always have to create a volume. Always, always, always. Uh, and what will the magnitude be? Well, it will be self dot self dot magnitudes plus v2's magnitude and the units will be either one of their units doesn't matter pick one All right. so if the units are the same I just add the magnitudes and the units uh, otherwise I now have to do some conversion so uh, if the units aren't the same, then I have to do a conversion, and, and by the, the the project specification, I do the conversion of V2. So um, I will have to say, okay, so if V2 dot units equals mil, then I need to convert um, the uh, uh, the mil. And oh, guess what? Um, I can call on a, a function. I mean, I can call on a method that's in there. Let's see where it is. Um, I haven't written it yet, um, but it returns the uh, um, customary. So I can say uh, returns a volume. So I can say that. See, I guess to see, do I need a? Uh, I can say v2, um, which is a volume, equals v2 dot customary. Right. Now I have uh, v2 fixed, and this will give me. Uh, I'll get an error here because I haven't uh, done that customary, but it, it returns a volume, so now. Uh, V2 has been uh, converted, and uh, but it might be nicer to give it a different name. Let's give it V3. So um, I'm actually not messing around with with uh, changing the V2 itself. So I say uh, now I have this one, and I can say oh now I can do my return just like I did before a volume. And actually, you know, let's be lazy. Uh, it's really this thing. Uh, but I just have the uh, uh, V3 as the as the uh, magnitude there. Uh, so, uh, but if they're not mil and it's valid. Uh, and I could do if v2 dot double underscore and we do the same type of thing All right. so so this way I will go and uh, uh, you know let's let's see what's going on here we come in into this and I'm gonna have to check to make sure that my v1, the first one, is valid. That is self. Check and I'll do something. If it's not, I'll return what's specified in the project. Uh, if it's a, uh, a volume and the units are the same, I just add the magnitude and, and then uh, take whichever units are out there. If otherwise they're different, okay, so if they're uh, in milliliters, then I will uh, convert it into ounces and then do the same thing I did before, watching out that I now have a V3 instead of a V2. And if they're ounces, uh, I, I'll do something similar. What else? Uh, well, suppose instead of, you know, suppose it's not a volume. Suppose V2 is an int or a float. Then what do I have to do? Well, then I have to uh, create a new volume. 
um, and and what does specification say uh, with the uh, same units as self so that means that my v2 will I'll, I'll make it a v3 uh, is a volume uh, and what is its um, magnitude well it will be uh, whatever v2 is because it's an inter or a float and it's and, and the units will be the same as self so now I have created a new a, a new volume and you know called v3 and guess what I can now oops I can now do the same arithmetic that I did before and uh, you know, it'll add the magnitude and uh, get the units uh, that I had before. Now, I don't, I could in fact uh, skip this step and I could just do V2. So I take the uh, self and just add the uh, uh, units on there because I know they're an inner float and that's uh, perfectly good arithmetic. Notice why um, uh, I got an error here. Oh, expected an indented block. Yeah, so um, I have an error here because I need to have some junk here. There we go. I got to have something in the uh, uh, in the block. But notice notice an, an important little thing here, which is that which is why does this work? V2, we know because we got here that it had to be an inter or a float. How about magnitude? Well, we've already checked that self is valid, so that means my magnitude, I know, is, you know, this also is an inter or a float. So I'm adding an inter or a float to an int or a float, and that's, a, that's an acceptable um, arithmetic operation. This self dot magnitude is just an inter or float as long as I got past that checkpoint here. And the V2 is just an inter or float because I got that point. So this is just arithmetic, adding numbers. And then, you know, I take that number, I take the string that's the units, and then I combine them together to give me a volume, which is what I return. Now, there, there are a number of things here that won't work. For example, I, I don't have customary um, defined, but I think I have enough that I can actually test something out. Let's give it a try here. Uh, let's take A, which is a volume of 10 milliliters, and we'll take B, which is a volume of uh, 20 milliliters and let's take a plus b okay. and the volume object has no attribute units all right and you see, you see what i have here it says it doesn't have uh, units because i have a typo all right uh, i forgot to put the double underscore in there and i probably have done this in a lot of places right so I got to fix that up. Um, I need the double underscore in there. So let's 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 fix that. And unfortunately, because I did copy and paste, I have that in multiple places. All right, let's fire this guy up again. can't check the uh, conversion because I don't have my uh, I, I still have to have my I, I don't have my customary one in there so I can't do a conversion 
Um, it will blow up if I say, uh, well, let's see, what happened to it? Did I handle this? A plus two? Yep, that works. Um, but it will blow up with, you know, because I don't have an R add in there, um, it will blow up with two plus A. Right. It says, oh, I don't know how to do that, so that's why we need the, uh, the R add. And in fact, an R add is, is uh, trivial. So let's put it in there. Remember, an R add uh, simply calls add. Now this works for ad addition, doesn't work for subtraction. Um, and why is it that it works for addition and not subtraction? Well, the reason is that addition is commutative and subtraction isn't. So remember, uh, you know, A plus B is exactly the same as B plus A, but if I have subtraction, A minus B, is not exact is not the same as B minus A, so I do have to work out. I, I do have to add an extra step in there with subtraction. I'll leave that one to you. Uh, let's see how we're doing with this. So if I have an A, uh, which is a volume, so A plus two still works. How about 2 plus A? All right, that also works. So that that was the difference. Remember, 2 plus A blew up on um, me before. So you got to watch out for that with uh, uh, subtraction. Just adds another step in there. And uh, that gives you a little bit of a start. So.